Today, the team behind the distro has announced the first beta release of MX25 Infinity, now available for public testing. Built on Debian 13.1 Trixie and MX repositories, the beta offers both SystemD and Sysfinite editions across X, KD Plasma, and Fluxbox desktops. And here is one of the biggest changes. Here is what I am talking about. For years, MX positioned itself as a systemd free option. Instead of adopting SysDD as the default init system, the distro has traditionally shipped Sysfinite as its baseline. However, with MX25, the developers are now offering parallel builds, images with systemd enabled, and Sysfinite additions for users who prefer to avoid it. So, if you're used to systemd, you can now take advantage of it in MX25. On the desktop side, X ships with version 4.20, KD Plasma with 6.3.6, .6, and Fluxbox with 1.3.7. Most builds use the Debian stable 6.12 kernel, while the advanced hardware support, AHS, variants provide Likrix 6.15 kernels. Secure boot support is included in the installer for systems running Debian signed kernels, although the Likrix based AHS editions do not support it. Several major changes land with this beta. First, the Qt based MX tools have been migrated to Qt6, and apt notifier has been replaced by a new tool called MX Updater with optional Nala backend support. Next, the installer now includes RAM swap setup. BTRFS installation options, and a replace existing installation function. Additionally, the installer supports 64-bit UEFI secure boot setups. On the desktop side, KD defaults to Wayland sessions, with X11 still available from the login screen. Fluxbox has gained new panel and menu configurations, along with updated Rofi settings. Known issues include missing installer icons in Fluxbox, crashes in Quick System Info under certain conditions, and incomplete root action integration in the Dolphin File Manager for KD.